So I'm thinking, right? First thing I want to do since lockdown, because lockdowns happen. What? Ladies, easing on lockdown is on Saturday, the fourth, right? And I can't wait to get my trim. I can't wait to get a haircut. Like, um, I've never been the biggest, you know, I've never been the biggest um proponent of getting haircuts every week or every two weeks, like some of my friends in the ends do, right? They get their haircut sometimes every week, every Friday. There was the time they get it. But God damn, man, I've missed the feeling of having my scalp exposed on the sides, right? Um, I'm even considering cutting my beard, which is the thing I'm, I'm more um, concerned about. The haircut, I know I'm going to do. I'm going to definitely get what I have all the time is, a, you know, shave, fade the side. That's going to be really entertaining. But the major difference is going to be what I do with the top. And the top of my hair, I've been growing it for the best part, I don't know, of like four years. It's a lot longer than what it looks like because obviously I haven't I haven't braided it and this hasn't been uh, blow dry, not blow dry, is it steam, whatever, hot combed, whatever. So it's a lot longer. If you, if you look at the camera, look how long that is, right? It's all like, it's all curled up and tangled up and it hasn't been combed and brushed in the ages. It looks like a bird's nest in there, if you can see that, right? There's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff in there. Probably some creatures hanging around, all right? A couple of whites, but that's all right, right? That gives me some character. But I really, really want to sort out the top. So I'm thinking about doing these, I think they're called box braids, right? Let me go. The Lil Uzi Vert has them. So there's, there's two haircuts, right? They're both, it's either I go for the Lil Uzi Vert version of a, of a trim or I go for the Playboy Carti. Let me see if I can get it up here. He's got braids, right? And then we go for the Playboy Carti. Playboy Carti hair, right? These are the two options to go for. And it's two versions of uh, facial hair too. So if I get the Uzi version of facial hair, I'm going to have to go for the kind of, you know, um, the lowered version of the beard I have at the moment. And if I go for the Playboy Carti, I'm going to have to go for the R&B little chin beard that I used to have back in the day. So these are the examples, right? And I'm saying I'm, I'm really thinking because I've always I've always put it off. It's been something I've always had to put off because I don't want to be sitting in between some girl's legs for four hours where she braids my hair. I just can't be bothered. And I'm I'm always under the assumption that I've got I'm so busy. I have so many things. I have so much to do. I got no time to waste. But you know I need to grow up, suck it up, and just sit down and get my hair braided because it needs to be done because it's gonna help my hair to grow better. It's going to obviously help it get more healthy i guess right you can help with breakage when they kind of hot comb it and whatever and, and apply all the ointments all that sort of stuff but i just need it to get done because you know it's going it's getting so long now that it just is un it's just un you know just doesn't look nice so first option we have here um little uzi verse braids right so he has these sort of braid things at the top which i'm going to show you in the image if you're not watching via the podcast and like uh if you're not watching via youtube then i apologize but i'll describe this as i can so it's sort of like these uh braids he has on the top of his hair um which kind of look like cornrows essentially but you can get them in twos you can get them in three sometimes i saw um little yeah he actually had a uh, had it done as well recently because he's doesn't he doesn't really dye his hair as much as often as well but it really helps to hair, help your hair grow right so that's one option and of course you've got the classic kind of like dreadlocks that he's got there on top which i'm also considering to get but i'm thinking of getting that right so that's similar to what a, like a pop smoke r.i.p sort of haircut that he had but braids on the top with obviously um the classic sort of like r&b beard he hasn't got the r&b beard here at the moment but I think he's wearing that the he's wearing that the the mo I saw on his Instagram, but yeah, this is another one as well of the kind of braids that I'm looking to get at the moment. So that's what I'm planning to do, right? Get the braids on the top, and then hopefully um, hope that that kind of grows and becomes what it can. Then the second option is to go for the Playboy Carti locks, which I've considered doing, but I'm kind of worried because obviously if you get locks, you can't actually take locks out. You're gonna have to just cut your hair, so that's the problem. So I might just go for the Louis Vuitt. Um, braids first and then once I kind of get accustomed to seeing my head that way then kind of trans then kind of no once I get accustomed once my hair grows a little bit under the braids and gets a bit more healthy then I then take it out and then do the locks but I really want I've been wanting to get locks for ages but I just again can't be bothered not patient enough um, don't want to sit in between some girls legs and get it done but it's definitely something I think would suit me pretty well um, I would hope so right I've got a pretty big chrome big head right um, my hair is like what my head in terms of um, new era size. I'm like a seven five eight. This is a huge head. It's, it's quite close to like an eight in a new era. So I'm not sure if this is going to look the way it should look on me, but I'm hoping it does. But I don't think it will, right? It's like when girls go, it's like a, I remember one of my friends saying something similar. Like girls, when they go to hair salons, they always, I think there was a time, it might have been when Friends was on. <coughs> People wanted to get women wanted to get that those Jennifer Aniston curls, which I like. 
similar to like what the Fox News presenters have now, right? The Fox News anchor women. They have those sort of like, um, you know, is it, are they called sausage curls, whatever their curls are, that kind of lay down here and they're really plump and blown out and stuff, right? And really bright and shiny. So I remember, uh, I think it must have been Jennifer Anderson. She was obviously a style icon at, during, in that era when Sex and the City was on. I'm not friends, sorry. Sex and the City. Um, it's Jennifer Anderson, right? It's Jennifer Anderson. Sex and the City. Um, is Jennifer Anderson? Or my friend, my friends. I don't know. It's one, one of them women. It doesn't matter. Um, one of those white ladies. A Sex and the City woman or friends woman. And they wanted to, there was loads of girls going to his salon and kind of ask, requesting that style. And then it had to be, you know, and hairdressers were really like, you know, were getting a bit down because they had to break the news to these middle-aged women that they couldn't actually get that hair because you know their head didn't, wasn't the same size their hair didn't grow the same way it didn't suit their facial structure just different you know a whole bevy of things um and that usually happens obviously in hair salons but in barber shops i feel like you should be you should be allowed to demand what you want to have done with your hair but in some black barber shops they still especially the african guys like i don't know why no it happens across the board. Let me not let me not even try and do that. It happens all the time. Caribbean barbershops and African barbershops. I think the only one that hasn't done that to me where they've just not listened to what I've said is when I went to Barcelona and I had the opp had the opportunity to go to like a Dominican Republic barbershop there because it's quite a big Dominican Republic um, population and uh, all the barbershops are fucking sick. I just went into some random one and got a skin fade before I went to run the Barcelona half marathon and it was great. Don't get me wrong, my Spanish was a bit broken, but I told him what I wanted and he just did it and that was it. There was no like, oh, don't do this, don't do that. But where, which, I, which you find yourself doing a lot when you go to like a black barbershop in the UK. You find yourself having to like instruct somebody, hey, don't do that. I didn't tell you to, to put my triangle into a moustache, uh, my moustache into a triangle. Don't take off too much of the bit. Like you clearly said in the beginning, hey, d give me level two on the beard. Don't take off too much in the bottom. Um, don't make it a triangle at the top of the moustache and then they still do it, right? So it just gets, a, it's just super annoying. So, but sometimes they can be right. Sometimes they can be looking at you and thinking, hey, dude, you're not Playboy Carti. you got a really big head, right? And a massive chin. It's not going to work how you think it's going to work. Or they could look at me and say, oh, you're not Louis Uzi Vert and your head, you know, looks like a 50 pence piece underneath this, right? So maybe those braids won't work as well on you. I don't know. But I want to at least have the option to try. That's all I want. Give me the option to try. That's all I want. Give me the option to try. So let's see what happens. Um, coming up very soon. I will get the braids on top of my hair. I cannot wait. Um, so yeah, that's my thing that I'm looking forward to once lockdown is over. My trim. And just be able to sit down again in that chair, man. Talk to my barber. Have a bit of banter. Um, watch the boys inside the shop get, you know, have that kind of meerkat head or whatever. Any female form walks by the window. God damn it, man. If, you wanna, if you're a girl and you have some self-confidence issues, walk past a barber shop. I implore you. If you think you're having a bit of an ugly day, oh, I look fat today. Oh, I look so bloated. Oh, my bum look big in this. Uh. If you have all those kind of, you know, self-confidence issues that you're not, you don't really want to put out on the internet, you don't want to put a first trap out there to like get people to give you any sort of approval, but you want to feel good about yourself, I dare you to go walk past a barbershop on your way to go get some eggs and wear the most frumpiest outfit you can find. Wear like some bag battered jogging bottoms, a really holy t-shirt, your mismatched socks, crappy sandals, Sandals, no makeup and you will feel like Beyonce right you'll feel like Beyonce you'll feel like Beyonce on a Coachella performance you'll feel flipping lit you will because barbershop boys god damn it man anything as a female form they're meerkatting <laughs> and I remember once right because I used to always get annoyed by it I think oh these guys man it's so uncouth <laughs> man I was like no hold on let me play this game right L let me get involved in them so I took out my headphones one day, put down my phone and, you know, t t taking part in the conversation. And I was like, hold on, let me just take a look at Ganda, who the these ladies are that are walking by this barbershop that are getting my barbershop um, peers, barbershop friends, yeah, barbershop colleagues so hot and flustered. Let me see these women. Let me see what we're working with. When I looked, don't get me wrong, they, they weren't, you know, they weren't ogres, but I'm not going to say they were Rihanna. Right, they were just regular girls looking by the shop, and they made them feel like a million bucks. I was like, God damn it, man! The amount of attention mediocre women get compared to mediocre men is just like insane, isn't it? Really, it's insane. No wonder some men, when they get famous, they just can't handle the amount of attention they get from women because they're just not used to it. I think women have had the experience from I don't know. It's bad as well because you know, for sure, women have probably been sexualized a lot younger than guys um, have been. But God damn it, man! Women are so used to having a male attention 
like constantly bestowed upon them for like you know weeks and months and years right before they eat they reach any kind of maturity that they, when they do reach a mature age they're able just to kind of fend it off and uh, get out of here right like girls in the ends there is no such thing as like you know misogyny in girl, with girls in the ends because they'll punch you right in the face do you know what i mean they're not playing around here right they don't play with this all like ah but my safe space they'll kick you on the nuts so they've been trained by the amount of animals that they have to kind of you know sort away as they're going to work i remember one time in a on the train when i was yeah this is like might have been a couple of months ago no not a couple, no, no more than a couple of months ago i was on the central line on the way to work and some girl some like asian girl was standing next to me and she kept like like you know, breathing. I was like, mm, I didn't know what was going on. I thought at first, I thought I was too close. I thought my bag was I like, bumping into. I don't know what was happening because it was literally just sitting, standing right in front of me. Then I noticed one guy who happened to be again an Asian dude happened to be like grinding up against her. Like whenever the, tra the, the train would move in the central line, because you know, if you know anything about the central line during peak hours, um, you know, it's super packed. And especially between like, let's say anywhere, anywhere up until Oxford Street, it's like ramo jamo. And every time the train kind of like accelerated, it, it kind of moves, it jolts and you swing back and forth, he'd rub up against her. Anytime it was about to stop, he'd rub up against her. When the doors closed, he'd rub up against her. When it started again, rub up against her. Like every opportunity was using it. So she kept panning about that. And then finally, she just had enough. And she just stopped and said, would you... And, and then she perfectly timed it, right? When the train kind of doors closed, it kind of creases away from the doors. It closes. Then it starts going again and there's a silent bit. There's like a silence where you can hear everybody. And she said, would you stop fucking coming close to me or touching me? Something along those lines, right? Get away from me, you fucking crib. Something like that. Really loud. Super loud. So loud that once the doors opened, a guy like slipped away like a, like a thief in the night. He just disappeared from the train. But it was so embarrassing. I was like, I felt so embarrassed for the guy. But then you looked at him and he was like, okay, he deserves it. He looked like a bit of a creep. I mean, he looked like he'd be sitting down with, what's his name? Chris Hansen or whatever. Is this Chris Hansen? Right, that guy, right? To catch a predator. He looked that kind of dude. But again, that's from ENDS. That's a girl from ENDS, right? She's been, she's, she's had to, she's been exposed to so many douchebags in her life that she has no patience for this rubbish, right? You're not going to rub your, your flipping flaccid penis up against my skirt as I'm going to work. Like, get your stinky crusty hands off of me um which is amazing but guys regardless of ends don't get that <laughs> at all we don't get that training because no one's looking at you if you're like us i'd imagine if you're like an a, a, an seven under you've probably never received any positive reaffirmation from the the opposite sex ever in your life really like you've never been in tesco's and some girls look to you like oh he's, he's quite tasty you probably haven't right so when you get any kind of celebrity and you get a bit of fame and you have people creeping into your DMs or you have people looking at you favorably because you have a bit of fame, you probably can't handle yourself. It's just, it, I, I'm not surprised that there's so many issues with guys in careers such as like comedy and stuff, right? Because realistically, to make it as a stand-up comedian, you have to be in the industry for what? You have to be grafting from what? Maybe 10 years plus, right? In the arts, I'd say. Most of the time, in the arts specifically. Whether you're a contemporary paint, whether you're a contemporary artist, a musician, a DJ, a stand-up comedian, a theatre act. You, yeah, you, you work in theatre, you're an actress, whatever, an actor, sorry. You're a playwright, uh, you're a writer on a show. You probably have to be grinding a minimum of five years, behind the scenes, toiling away, working in, rub in rubbish, you know... Um, in rubbish kind of nine to five jobs to kind of pay your way forward why you should do your you know your the thing that you really want to do outside of work right and then you suddenly pop and you're like what 28 years old plus and you've probably had let's say three girlfriends in your life maybe a couple of one night stands and then suddenly you have like girls who you never would have have a, had a chance of attaining prior to your fame now reaching up to you no wonder you're going to act out. No wonder. Honestly, no wonder you're going to act out. Especially, you know, in an environment where you're you're kind of treated like, a, you're, you're kind of infantilized as well, right? When you're a celebrity and you're working in the entertainment industry, you, you're sort of given a license to be a bit Peter Panish, right? Um, it's just, It suspends belief and it suspends your age. Your age kind of gets paused for a little bit when you're in the entertainment industry. People tend to age, like, you know, in two-year increments, right? Um, for the most part. But I don't know, man. I don't know why I started rambling about that. But hey, let's move on to something else. <laughs> um, I can't wait to get my hair cut. That's the main thing. But let's.